أعزائي المشاهدين أهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقة جديدة من برنامجكم الوطني رواد الأعمال كما عودناكم في كل حلقة أن نستضيف نخبة من مجال الأعمال المتميزة We have today our special businessman Mr. شمس الدين the managing director and the owner of Golden Core Trading LLC Mr. شمس الدين would like to welcome you first in our show Thank you, thank you for coming to the office and really welcome you all for interviewing me and I'm, I'm, I'm definitely glad in doing all this It's really a pleasure We would like you also to introduce yourself for our audience please uh, as you said, my name is Shamshuddin. I've been in business of uh, commodities, commodity trading, bulk commodity trading, physical bulk commodity trading, and uh, mostly dry, uh, like minerals. Uh, I serve the cementious products like gypsum, clinker, limestone, slag, all these products to various markets. It's a third country trading. Like, you know, mm -hmm. I buy from UAE, sell it to some other country. And then I buy, buy from some other country, bring it to UAE. Mm -hmm. It's a third country, physical trading, where I've been doing this business for the last 30 years. Masha Since Allah. 92, I've been here. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah. And I've been working for a company. Uh, and then I started this company in the year 2014. And mm -hmm. I'm the single owner of this company. So a big experience here in the market. Let's say we are t talking about 30 years of experience. That's a lot to be honest, and that's uh, something that will always lead the customers to get back because you have the experience and you know how to solve the problems, of course, if there are any, if there are any problems. So uh, moving on to the next question, we would like also to know more about your services and what do you provide here in the uh, market? Yeah, uh, for this, uh, I've been, as well as the UAE market is concerned, we've been buying products out of UAE and selling products into UAE, mostly to the cement plants, oh. okay, cement plants. And uh, I've been, as I told you, I've been here for the last 30 years. I've seen the ups and downs of UAE, you know, mm -hmm. since 92, there was a recession. And then the market really picked up in uh, the late 90s. And, you know, the, uh, the uh, construction market here. And uh, <coughs> mainly the product was the cement for the construction industry. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would say, you know, from five, six million tons of consumption is went as high as 22, 23 million tons of consumption, UAE alone in the year 2007-2008, oh. just before the global recession, mm -hmm. uh, the August uh, global recession, you know. Before that, it has a yes, 20, 23 million. And we are proud to say like we were the, the highest supplier of these products into this country. And we've been bringing all this from various countries, like as you know, far as China, Korea, Japan, Philippines, Middle East, all the other places, we're bringing products to these places, you know, cement and raw yes. material. Yes. And uh, that's how the construction, uh, you know, boom was there. And then later, of course, it, you know what had happened, you know, after the uh, recession. And uh, now I would say the market has come down. And what happened during this period, all the cement manufacturers here, they also expanded their production and there were new plans also. Mm -hmm. So today I would say this 40 million tons of production, though the consumption is one fourth year. So the excess product available here. So what we do as a trader. I see the opportunity where the opportunity is there like you know when there is some somewhere where is there is shortage i bring here like you know it's a demand and supply okay. so now there is a lot of supply here from here we take all these products and take it to different places and like in for, for example bangladesh mm -hmm. that's my main market today bangladesh is oh. 100 percent importer of all these products because there's no raw material available in bangladesh oh. so we take cement products from here to bangladesh and to india sometimes to other places so that's okay. that's the trading that we do and being in trading i should know where the supply where is the demand the, we play with informations yes of course that is our investment also. so uh, with all the competition range here in the uae in all business fields you need to have something special that makes you different than other companies what makes you special nowadays here in the uae what makes me special is like you know we we'll have to add value to the business it's not just buying and selling anybody can do that right? yes, people who have got sure. money they can do that and if we add value to the business today, people are aware, like they know what is happening around. Like it's not only I have all the information. Information is available with everybody because of just one gadget. Okay, this social media, everything is there. Right? So, right, so for me, in our business, I need to add value. You know, earlier it was only trading. I just buy yes. and sell. On, they call That's it F FOB. Mm -hmm. FOB is free on board. Okay, mm -hmm. we sell and sell on FOB. Then mm -hmm. it was CFR, which is cost and freight. Then we provide uh, financial help. So all this type. So these type of the uh, value addition in the business only helps us do all this. Mm -hmm. 
otherwise you will not be able to survive yes. so you will have to update yourself one after the other one after the other one after the other okay what you'll have to add more you either you'll have to attach yourself to a producer or attach your vessel to an end user uh -huh. okay where you can add value like suppose you're a producer i'll tell you okay you have your product at your plant i'll come and take it from your plant i will do the local transport i'll do everything and then i take it to my uh, buyer okay. same way i i go there i just don't give the product at their port i discharge and give to them at their plant uh -huh. you know don't step don't step like you know, this is what this is the value addition that we want to do and that's how we do like that's how we are able to survive in the market so long yes. perfect so with all this experience that you have and now you have your own company i need to know also what's your goal for what's your plan for the coming years yeah, for the coming years like i need to grow like see for me i'm a trader i've been a trader and i want to be a trader okay and when i say trader i'm into trading and shipping okay where i buy the product i ship myself like you know we take the ships from the market charter we call it charter charter yeah. the ship on a time charter period chart, we call it time charter period charter. So I, I, I want to enter into shipping also, trading and shipping where I will buy ships mm -hmm. from my company and then do it on my own ship. That is what I've been doing. I, had, I have experience in doing this. Of I'll course, be doing yes. it. That's my goal. And then I'll just, so I would like to grow in that way. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So we also need to speak about United Arab Emirates in Dubai in specific the safety and security here in this country is amazing so how can this affect you as a business owner as a businessman how can it also affect the market itself I tell you UAE I've been here last 30 years okay started from 92 I came direct from the university joined a company as a trader learned trader of course I I did my uh, economic you know qualification also in mm -hmm. international trading and uh, i've been here and i'm here with my family my extended family everybody is here the only one reason is the safety security and the financial help that i get from the government and from the market yes okay? for sure yeah there are people now i know because i've been in trading i've been you have contacts all over like i know people are coming from other places to this country to this market like for example singapore singapore was the first trading hub in this region and now i know there are various companies which are shifting from singapore to uae reason being this more safer year yeah okay so i would like to stay here you know for life like i would given a chance i would like to stay here for life and do business here like you now and of course like you know there are other added things also to it like you know you are tax free and all that of yes. course it's so coming you know in the corporate tax is going to come in 2023 and it's all there but of course the like, government has to earn also of course and i tell you the government especially the dubai government the way they are supporting the traders one good thing is the expo because i've been a witness to the shanghai uh, expo, expo in uh, 2010 2010 right yeah 20, yeah, 20, yeah 2010 was yeah. shanghai 2015 was mm -hmm. milan okay 2010 and you see nothing like no big improvement after that like you know because we've been doing business regularly with china i used to travel regularly to shanghai and after that what but here see you know because though there was pandemic and there was a delay of one year what a big success of this expo here that's because of the government yes. the way they promote themselves i tell you dubai government the way they promote themselves it's amazing in 1994 or 95 I was traveling to Zurich, okay? Mm -hmm. I was coming from Berlin, traveling Suser to Dubai, and stopover in Zurich. Mm -hmm. I started having stopover, like, let me go stay there for two days. I didn't have the visa. That time, uh, uh, Switzerland was under, not, not under Schengen. Yeah. Okay? But mm -hmm. Schengen, they don't, uh, we need to have a special Switzerland visa. And for Indian passport orders, I need to get visa before, before entry. Then I went to the counter, I said, like, you know, I need to enter, I need to stay here for two days. I don't have a visa. The lady in the counter, she said, uh, where are you coming from? Where are you going? I said, I'm going to Dubai. I'm a resident of Dubai. Mm -hmm. Dubai? Uh -huh. You know what is this? What is this? This hotel? Burj Al Arab. Burj Al Arab. Burj Al Arab. Burj Al Arab, Burj Al Arab was just coming up. It's, it's under construction. Huh? Yeah. They have not opened it. Uh -huh. And she said, this hotel in the sea? And she was not, she's a German lady, mm -hmm. not much in English. She was saying this as, as back as like 20, 90, 90, 95. So they know how to They know themselves. and these people by then they all know like you know see they all know the, there's a hotel which is coming in the middle of the sea and it's going to be the tallest hotel. That's it. That's it. That's it. And then she went in then checked and then they give me visa. 72 uh -huh. hours visa and then I went in. So this is Dubai. Of course. 
So, of course, we would like to thank you for being with us today. It's really an honor. Before we end our interview, we'd like also to know how can we reach and contact uh, Golden Core Trading. We are there in the media, you know, you have our numbers and anytime. And of course, like as Golden Core Trading Commodities, we are there everywhere. Like, you know, people know us, like, you know, Chamber of, we are placed with all the, all the organizations here. Mm -hmm. And we are there anytime, like, you can contact us. And uh, we are now, we are now JLT. Mm -hmm. And uh, one more thing, like, you know, though, when we started the organization, it has to be with, you know, LLC company has to be with a local sponsor. Yeah. Now, to tell you the support that we get from the government, they have now come out saying, like, you can be 100% 100 ownership. Mm -hmm. A foreigner can own a trading company 100% without any local sponsor. That's that's how what the you government require? of Dubai. Yeah, that's the government of Dubai. Yeah, what of they course. are they are pioneers in everything. Okay? Yes, they are supporting and the investors. Say, the see, like you know, your freehold properties. Mm -hmm. It was they started. I think it was uh, uh, Emirates Emirates Hills or Emirates Hills was the first property. You know, they said it is 99 years lease. Then came up with free freehold. Mm -hmm. And then again, all the other Middle East countries, they followed suit. Yes. It was Dubai, which is pioneered in all this. Yes, for so sure. the same way, like on now they have brought, you know, non-sponsor company, 100% ownership. What else they require? That's that's how they always... You're, you're, are you are in your home country. You know, it's as, yes. lo as good sure. as your home country. For sure. Thank you, Mr. Shamsuddin, for thank, being thank, with us thanks today. For coming. It's really a pleasure. And إِلَى هُنَا أَعْزَائِي الْمُشَاهِدِينَ نُنْهِي حَلْقَتْنَا الْأَسْبُوعِيَّةَ with our special guest Mr. Shams Din. You can watch us each Friday and Saturday on your channel ABC Arabia TV channel. Sure, sure, Thank you, Mr. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everything.